movement effort number three. This is the flick. And if you practice a flick with your fingers, you will see that it is indirect. It flicks off in a different direction. It's fast, so it's a quick movement. And it is also very light. Unlike the press and the ring that were heavy, this is light. So practice flicking something when you've got the idea of a flick. Try the flick with your entire body. Now, sometimes I find students can be a little bit reticent with the flick and they feel a bit silly, but try it. Just try flicking your body so you can get that light, indirect and quick movement. Then, of course, if you're working with script or creating your own devised work, you can try flicking your voice and see how that affects the character. Maybe you can just flick a line or a word, or maybe that is the way that the character speaks the whole way through your work. OK, stay on for my next video where I will um, describe the dab action.